Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, here's where I love to share with you how to do home decor DIYs on a really teeny tiny budget. It could be anywhere from home decor, meaning like trash to treasure, boho chic, uh, farmhouse as well. You name it, I just love doing it and I just love sharing it with you guys. And I also love to do Dollar Tree and Dollarama hauls and a few little shop with me videos as well. So if you are new, I would love it if you could follow me by subscribing you will see the button just on the lower right and if you just give it a big thumbs up it just helps to support my channel and if you want to be notified every single time I upload a new video there is a bell button right beside the subscribe button so just click on that and you can click all um, so that way you are notified for every single video so today let's get started so today I have a dollar tree and a dollar rama haul and uh, uh, okay I need a break. I got to stop shopping because this is getting overload. But at least this haul today is a little bit more. I've got some food items in there as well. So at least this way I can eat them and then they can we can clear them out of the house. You know what I mean? So I'll start with the um, the dollar rama and then I'll go into the dollar tree. So these things, I saw these things and I was like, oh my gosh, these are super cute, not just for what they are for, but for DIYs as well. These are coffee cup gift card holders. So for a dollar twenty-five, you get six. So two, two, and two. How cute is that? So on the back you get the little to and from and you can put your little gift card in there. But I actually, I will show you a video because I made a coffee slash hot chocolate bar last year and I want to redo it again this year. And I think I'm going to incorporate one of these into one of my DIYs to do um, a little photo or something for my cocoa bar. So how cute are those? I'm just even, I can't wait to use it as a DIY, but also use them for gift cards as well. And then, so again, you guys know, I always use these in my DIY videos and the Dollarama versus the Dollar Tree, I like the Deco Art acrylic paint better at, what's well, right, Deco Art is only at Dollarama, but I like their acrylic paint a lot better than the Dollar Tree. I have used the Dollar Tree and it is good, but my go-to are the Dollar Tree ones. So the reason I'm showing you these guys is because you guys probably know, all you DIYers out there, you know that the Dollarama has been um, out of stock on these paints for a long time. So I actually picked up a white one and a black one because these are great for multitude of colors. So, you know, you don't have gray. Well, you mix black and, gray, uh, black and white together to get gray, you know, or if you want something more pale or pastel color, you add a little bit of white to it. So these are always a very good basic go-to colors for DIYs. So these ones were $1.50 for four fluid ounces or 118 gram, um, sorry, milliliters. So this, these last me a long time, but it's always good to have backup, especially if they go out of stock yet again. <laughs> and the last, last from Dollarama, I've got the Moritz, the Icy Squares. This is only $1 and you get 75 grams these were always my go-to as a child. It was more like, um, I don't I can't remember the, it, yeah, it's got that icy richness to the chocolate. You know, it kind of melts in your mouth when you eat them. They're super good. I think they're all, there's only seven pieces in there. Yeah, seven from what I could feel. So, but for a dollar, a little stack, I could take a couple to work tomorrow or, you know, or whatever day I air this on, I could just take a couple for a snack. So, awesome find. I love those, again, for a dollar. So moving on to the Dollar Tree portion of the haul, I thought, oh my gosh, Dollar Tree, I think, okay, this video, I'm like, I don't know what I like more. I am super excited with Dollar Tree. I love Dollarama, but today I'm just like, yes, Dollar Tree, thank you so much. <laughs> so Dollar Tree, I saw these really cute treat bags. So you get 15 in a pack. But again, I just love the red truck. I love the buffalo plaid, as you guys know already. But I just thought those were super adorable. And you know when you, it, you know, with the snowflakes and stuff like that, you know when you close it, it almost looks like a little snow globe. Anyway, that's what I thought. But super cute. You could still cut out that tree and use it in a DIY as well. So, but I, I like them more as a gift bag. So and moving on to the next item. So I've, I've seen these before, but in different words. Now it is MDF or particle board, as you want to call it. Look at these guys. So I'm pulling the wrong way. Mary. And then you've got Christmas. 
Oh my goodness, guys, those are awesome for DIYs. They had, so they had different words, they had joy. And I think there was another one that actually says, let it snow. So it was like one long board, but I thought those were awesome. And it does come with little hangers. So like, so you can hang them to the wall if you wanted. I'm not hanging those. I'm just gonna take those right off. But how awesome are those for DIYs? I thought that awesome. Again, moving on to the uh, food theme of the Dollar Tree. So I saw these guys and I thought these were really great for stocking stuffers. Now they are the truffles, the cocoa truffles. Now again, I love these. I love truffles at Christmas. You guys are probably thinking like, what chocolate doesn't she like? Well, I love everything except for, uh, you probably guys remember this, but I don't like orange and chocolate. And if I had to eat it, I would, but I would not pick uh, chocolate and caramel. That is not my go-to, but everything else, yes, I love them. So I got a hazelnut one and I got just the original one. And these are by uh, Trafettes de France. So that's my French for the day. Uh, you get 52 grams in there. Now, I don't think you get much. You only get maybe four, I wanna say four or five pieces, but great for stocking stuffers. I love these. Now, just remember to look at the expiry date. The hazelnut one expires first. So it is November 25th, 2001. And the original is may 25th 2022 so you have a little bit longer of a lifespan with these but five pieces that's gonna last me a night you know again they're not supposed to be for me they're supposed to be for friends and family for stocking stuffers or something <laughs> and then so i saw these guys so you guys know that dollar tree carries a lot of the laura c court right now so i know i've hauled a couple of uh laura c courts and i'm using those for stocking stuffers for sure I found these guys. So I haven't seen these ones yet. These are the hot chocolate. I have bought a hot chocolate one, but I think it was like vanilla and one was just dark chocolate. But these are, you get three of them and they're all different. The other ones I think had two and one, you know? So this one is all three are different. You get the salted, uh, salty English toffee, peppermint and hazelnut. So you get three different ones in there. So I ended up buying four. Now I was gonna give a couple as stocking suppers, but Every year, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it this year because of the pandemic and everything like that, but every year I usually uh, host a little Christmas party slash gift exchange with my friends. And uh, and I usually have like a, well, last year I had a hot cocoa bar because you know we have a, a bigger house and I had more space to do it. So I made a hot cocoa bar. But what I did is I just bought like one big bag of hot chocolate and I poured it in a little jar and that was it for the friends. But this I thought was cute if I kept two of them for myself, open the box, take the, the six packets out, like the three and three, and then you put them in like a little container. So that way, if I do end up having a party, my friends can pick through and they can pick a flavor that they want for their hot chocolate. So I thought that was really, really awesome. So again, you get three packets for 28 grams. And then I saw these, so just a couple more things. I saw these guys, again, I've hauled them in the fall as well, but I love these for DIYs. So again, those those um, two, maybe it's like two feet, the uh, pictures. And I thought these were awesome for DIYs. You know, you can put the two together, make a bigger canvas to work with. And I love the little signs because you can take them off too and use them for other things. And again, I love the, the snowman, oh, sorry, snowman, and I love the Santa Claus. They are very, very cute. I think this would be so cute. If I had children, I would definitely probably keep them like this because I think they're really cute. But just to go with our decor and our theme right now, I'm going to probably give them a little revamp or use them for some other sort of DIYs. I just like them again for the size they were and the shape. Yeah. <laughs> and oh my gosh, guys, last but not least, I have to save the best for last. You guys have probably seen these already. And when I found these in the store, I have to tell you, I did a little happy dance. I was so excited when I found these. Check this out. What? Look at all this fabric. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so exciting. Now I hauled these back in the summer. There was one that had flamingos, the one had watermelon, and there was another one that had, I think it was lemons. Uh, yes, lemons. And um, I actually had one of my, my coworkers' mom, she made me a couple masks with them. So I'm thinking, hey, 
Maybe I can make some masks with these. But I, there is a, a DIY that I want to do with a couple of them. But however, I did buy two red buffalo checks. I think I've got a lot of red buffalo check that I can use for DIYs, as you guys know already. So I think I, I just bought two because that's all I needed. They are 20 by 21 inches in length. So those are really good to use. I got five of the black and white buffalo check. Now I got one extra because what I think I want to do is actually make two pillows with these because you guys saw my DIY video or my my intro videos for when I was downstairs. I, I have these pillows that have leaves on them but I'm like I need some other fall pillows because I've got the the pillow covers for the fall with a truck and everything. Those were awesome but I think I might want to make a couple of pillows. So the reason I got four is because I think the 21 is a, the standard size pillow so I'm just going to attach two together one in the front one in the back so the, that way I can make two pillows and then I've got an extra one for DIYs and then I got the two green ones green is not my my first choice for Christmas I do like it in in when it's incorporated in things but when it's like the main focus is green it's not my my first choice but I did love it because it was a plaid it's great for DIYs and I'll be able to use this even for Halloween or fall next year also so I thought that was awesome so I got two of those and of course the best one for the last this well the whole thing was the best for last as I said that already but the red car how cute is that <laughs> anyway so that's it guys i hope you guys had fun with me today and remember i do like to post videos every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays with a possible bonus video every once in a while thrown in there and remember guys i do have that contest on the go right now so once i hit 475 subscribers i do have that giveaway that i will send out to you guys so remember the the contest rules are just on that video and just comment on that video so that way i can keep track of who's entered and whatnot so that way i can add them at the end and we can do the same thing what we did the last time just put all the names in a bowl and i can pick out a name out of the, out of the bowl so that's it guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also if you could just give it a big thumbs up, it just helps to support my channel grow. And you guys are awesome. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you at the next video. Bye.